Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy. It's that nigga. It's the Joy-Con master himself in the flesh. Iceman. Oh, wait. Did I really just say that part of the name? Etika from the Etika World Network. TR1 Iceman. Whatever the fuck you want to call this shit, bro. We are here for E3 2019. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit out of my element because I'm not as prepared for this as I usually would be for the uh, major conferences, but I just figured it would be fun to stream through these things anyways. Since my channel is definitely in a transitional process, I'm kind of um, taking a little bit more of an easygoing approach to shit. We're just going to stream. I know niggas are going to make highlights of everything. Um, there's going to be ways for the trailers to be out there. Even if they're not on my own channel, I know for a fact that people will be able to watch it afterwards anyway, so it's all good for me. But one thing I got to say, shout out to the nine gang shout out to the joy con boys shout out to everybody that's in this bitch man i seen y'all niggas hyping the stream up from earlier on bro it's always madness always crazy anytime we come in here man i haven't streamed in a little while either so i was expecting it to be a little bit more on the low-key quiet side not many people knew i was going to be doing something today but i did tell you guys i wanted to do e3 now the big thing about this E3 doesn't just happen all in one day, it's a schedule, so there's multiple time frames, so I think we're ahead of the game in terms of the stuff that we're interested in. You know, obviously Nintendo is going to be our main focus, I mean the Smash Brothers DLC, potentially any new Pokemon information, although it feels like now we got a lot. And of course, you can't forget about Microsoft, you can't forget about Sony, you can't forget about uh, EA. Ugh. Uh, I don't, I'm feeling kind of tired all of a sudden, dog. I don't, I don't know if it's just me or maybe, maybe it's because I didn't get enough sleep, but all of a sudden, bro, I'm just feeling a little bit on the sleepy side right now. I, damn, wait, 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 what, what presentation? Oh, e e how, how long has this been going on? Two hours? Okay. Shit, son. Listen, I'm not, I'm not trying to throw complete shade on EA. I know the niggas must have something good, but I just, I just remember from last year how, your boy was getting a little bit tired, man. I might, I might try to play some of that Pokemon sleep while we watch this EA conference, if we decide to even watch it. I don't know if I want to watch that shit. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Sony's not going to be there this year. That's one thing we got to take out of the equation, boys. Damn. So there's actually less E3 content to watch this year than the previous year, right? All right. Now, in order to keep us from falling asleep in the middle of the stream while watching EA do their thing, I'm going to instead focus on the actual schedule of E3. So right here, we have the dates, the times, everything that you guys need to be aware of. Now, this is going to be important for future reference, especially since, you know, Sony ain't doing their thing. Since there will be less stuff for us to do, um, I'm going to be identifying with you all right here, right now, exactly what time window you need in order to watch your boy stream these things live. Since today, it doesn't really seem like we're going to be doing too much. Square Enix is going to be there? Oh, really? Well, hopefully this schedule is actually going to list it down right for us, man. Um, now, I took a look at this already, but I mean, hey, we're a little ahead of the curve. It's the 8th. The official shit apparently is from the 11th to the, to the 13th. I'm not sure if they mean just for the conference hall or in terms of announcements, because there's already been a lot of announcements. Not only that, guys, there's been a lot of leaks lately. Have you guys seen it? Um, apparently, big time leaks with Pokemon already and then uh, uh, some fake leaks with Smash Brothers. Now, normally I would have been making videos about this stuff. I've been so caught up, so I just wanted to cover it on stream. But we'll, we'll go into that later. There's just been stuff happening all over the place, man. Someone said to suck toes on the stream. I won't suck toes. But one thing I will do is, um, is give you... Uh, <laughs> I, okay, I'm not gonna suck nothing, but I'm gonna shout you out, all right? Ryan Mort came through. Shout out to Ryan. Um, shout out to Hunter Dunn, Ponch, JD Ray, Coffee, Jaden, Juan, J, J Dre. Shout out to the Joy Con boys. Shout out to the Nine Gang, man. Shout out to the Joy Con gods. You feel me? Uh, Halo gameplay tomorrow. Is that Microsoft shit? Listen, I'm down to check it out. I mean, Halo's not something that I'm crazy over, but I mean, I'll, I'll definitely want to see any of the new announcements for like the big guys. Um, shout out to Miss, shout out to Ivan, J Funk, Tyler, Random, Isaac, Turtle Master, Four Chum, Mr. Mr. Badass, Toxic Gaming, GMR, um, Noah, Anthony, my nigga um, Aurora is in this bitch too. Shout out to Aurora, man, one of the Joy Con gods right there. Uh, my gang, the Nine Gang, rise up, boys. Yes, indeed, man. Of course, you gotta. It wouldn't be an Etika stream without Dark Web reference, man. Listen, Dark Web boys, y'all going deep or Deep Web boys? Give me a little bit. I'm working on this shit. 
Uh, Joy-Con Boys is in here, though, man. Thank you all for joining me today. Um, I know you, listen, you could be spending your time doing anything else today, but you decided to spend it with me. So that means a lot. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit of fun today. I think the schedule is looking pretty damn juicy, man. Um, even, even though... EA isn't necessarily going to be stimulating my penis anytime soon, but there's plenty of other ways to get stimulated on a live stream with a bunch of niggas watching, so I ain't really too worried about it. Um, shout out to all the mods too. Thank you for keeping the chat crazy as usual. I love it. Shout out to the boys, man. The Korean web. Oh, yeah. Listen, I mentioned it before, right? I'm trying to put it into play. The guy that's supposed to help me, I keep on fucking, I keep on rescheduling with this dude. I gotta pull him in at some point, but um, yo. All right, now we know what's good with today. I think I don't think anything else big happens today, right? Well, let's find out for ourselves. Uh, this schedule is looking kind of juicy, even without Sony being in there. My nigga Joel came through saying, yo, what's going on, my boy? I'll be here for E3. I can't wait for it. Have a nice day. Shout out to the Nine Gang, the Joy-Con boys, Joy-Con gods. We got a bunch of names right now. Joy-Con gods and Nine Gang being the latest, man. Hey, what can I say, bro? You eat enough of that potassium, you eat enough of them eggs, and who knows, maybe you one day can too be a joy con god. But I mean, hey, I'm just saying. I'm being an asshole. I'm being a fool. In fact, I need to put those back in my fridge so they don't spoil. I just had me a little meal myself, so I'm feeling pretty damn good right now. I'm shout out to Job. Anyway, let me get back into here real quick. I'm going to use my expert um, skimming skills to kind of cut through the fat a little bit. So here we go. EA, damn. These niggas had two, these niggas had two days and Damn, bro. All right. EA really took a big ass fucking chunk out of the schedule. Did they do this last year? I'm sorry. It's hard for me to remember anything that EA does nowadays, man, without me trying to get a little bit of rest in between. But I mean, yeah, so EA, we're currently inside of their slot. They have some shit going on tomorrow, too. Anything big? From Friday night, LA time, EA will be holding various live streams, including an all new EA Play kickoff event. Well, that doesn't sound too dull. I mean, I don't know. Like, I'm not trying to be too judgmental. Maybe these niggas did do something to wake niggas up for once, bro. I just remember last year not being that case. Um, Bulletin Music came through with 20 as well. Thank you, Bulletin. Um, good to see niggas back inside the stream. He says, yo, I'm back again, and I cannot wait for E3. Dude, and I see the Pog Champs in the background, too. The love is definitely real now, not just towards me, but E3. Obviously, we've all been sort of anticipating uh, this day for a while. Um, it's been especially juicy because, who knows, maybe there's some new hardware that could be on the horizon um, for one of these companies. Uh, whenever you're talking about new console hardware, man, that always amps the level up just a little bit more. Deso Fat came through to the stream. That's another fucking regular right there. Bunch of Pog Chaps in here. Pog, cha Pog Champs in here. I'm, excuse me for that. I'm not a Twitch nigga, all right? I'm going to mispronounce it a little bit every now and then. You're going to have to forgive me back. Apologies, boys. Uh, I got to work on my... I told you how I have that little Ethernet problem with my computer. It keeps on disconnecting the stream in the middle, man. It's, it's fucking annoying. Apologies. Are we good? Are we good? Um, I was just talking about uh, the stuff that EA has coming up. And while nothing here really stimulates me too much, I'm not feeling too crazy about any of these titles. But I mean, that's just me, obviously. So I mean, if you're excited for it, nigga, then I mean, hey, no, no, no shade. But you know me. I'm, I'm kind of a Nintendo boy, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what the big N got to offer. I'm a big nigga. I need the big N, nigga. Uh, bruh. Every time, dude. Bro. Wait, hold on. Hold on. No, nigga said a Twitch attack. <laughs> Oh shit, you think Twitch sent in a couple of niggas to take the stream down knowing that the Joy-Con boys was about to go on? Bruh, no, 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 don't worry. We didn't get caught by the YouTube police. It'd be crazy if the channel got taken down for not even doing it. They're just like, you know what? It's fucking Etika. He's going to do something crazy. We might as well shut this nigga down right now. No, we are good. We back. The FBI, the Secret Service didn't find your boy, okay? Even though they were fucking looking for your boy. at one. Did you know the Secret Service was looking for my ass? Because while I was going through my awakening last month, they niggas literally were like, uh, at one point I made a tweet talking about the black hole and how it could potentially destroy all of humanity. And then I mentioned Donald Trump. Trump and I was like, oh nigga, this is your fault. It's coming for you next. Them niggas sent niggas to the crib. <laughs> and they don't just play around. They don't just send niggas to the crib. They send niggas everywhere, bro. But I mean, it was all cool. I mean, they obviously know I'm not a danger to them. They came, made sure everything was fine. They're like, oh, okay, you're good. But you know, just a little interesting story. I got I got visited by the Secret Service, man. So I, I asked them, am I on a are we good? Back offline? We back again? Hold on. Okay. Before we continue, I want to see I want to see the AOKs. Are we back? Are we good? I need to make sure. 
Because I went on a tangent talking about motherfucking Secret Service, and I don't want niggas to miss it if I'm talking like juicy details and shit. You know what I should do? I should definitely pull the stream up and have it open on my windows as well, just to make sure that everything's cool with it. Hold on, let me do that. Are we good? Are we good, boys? Let me get a nine if we're good, all right? I mean, this shouldn't be happening too frequent, but let me just make sure. I'm going to put the stream on monitor mode, nigga. Hold on a second. Let me make sure we're good here. Hold on, all right, I'm gonna leave this over here just to just to ensure we're okay. All right, boys, we're good, we're good. Did anybody hear anything that I talked about the Secret Service, nigga? I, I, okay, well, I had basically just mentioned that at one point, them niggas came through to visit your boy because I had mentioned during uh, my awakening last month that, oh, shit, the black hole is here, just pulling on the fabric of reality. It could potentially destroy all of mankind, nigga. And then I, I tweeted at Donald Trump for fucking lols, being like, yo, this means it's coming for you too or some shit. Like, and they were like, oh, fuck, nigga. So they sent a bunch of niggas, bro. But then again, it wasn't anything crazy. All they want to do is verify that you're not a harm. They know I ain't got no guns in this motherfucker. Man. It, it's kind of crazy. I see Nintendo Switch in the background. Yes you do but i mean they would just want to make sure it was kind of like a common check but they check everybody bro apparently they checked your friends your family and shit it's not exactly like i'm used to this kind of shit so i mean holy f i was like damn bro does this mean i'm on a terrorist watch list or something but uh apparently not they just they, they don't play they don't play when it when it comes to niggas with clout online apparently if you have over a certain amount of following and you tweet something that could be perceived as somewhat of a threat to the president, them niggas send somebody to check in on you just to make sure. I mean, there's so many people, but the thing is there's so many people that do that, so they can't do that to everybody, but I mean, that's why they only do it for people with clout. They're like, wait a second. Uh, anyways, um, that was kind of a little off topic. I was talking, before we got disconnected, I was talking about the uh, EA schedule and what these niggas were doing. I don't know if y'all, I, I repeated myself like fucking three times. Oh, wait a minute, what if it was the secret service that shut down the stream just now? What if it wasn't a fucking computer problem, nigga? Oh shit. Boys, listen, y'all gonna have to log out, delete your history right now. Don't let anybody know you watch me, bro. Them niggas are coming for us, okay? They're trying to take down the night. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. Hopefully, Uncle Sam is all right. I mean, I have an N-word pass from the office of Barack Obama himself, bro. I should be okay. I'm just saying. Licks don't clink. Yo, that's a, delete the history, nigga. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Anyways, EA, um, I'm going to... Try to keep an eye open for some of these things. I know Apex Legends is a big game, so I mean, even though I don't really care too much about it, not even gonna lie, I can't be fake with y'all. I don't care too much, but I mean, obviously, if it's gaming stuff, I'm gonna have at least a little bit of an interest. I should probably play EA Legends, <laughs> EA Legends, Apex Legends one of these days. Anyways, um, now for Xbox, Microsoft, Micro and Soft indeed. These niggas are saying, okay, they um, what are, what are we seeing here? They're gonna frame. They're gonna have some. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay, during the briefing, check out everything through trailers, unannounced stuff. Okay, so this is actually going down tomorrow, nigga. All right, so what times are we looking at here? This is happening at, uh, okay, 4 Eastern? Well, I'm planning on streaming tomorrow around this time anyway. So if you boys want to watch this uh, Microsoft conference thing with me tomorrow, come through to the channel. Uh, you don't got to show your PP to get invited. No, you 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 get access right away, bro. And, and we're going to be seeing what these niggas got to offer. Um, obviously, some of the biggest stuff, uh, I don't re Dude, it's been so long. I don't even remember the name of that shit, but it was this futuristic game where... Uh, <laughs> Micro and soft indeed. No, no, I don't even remember if that was even fucking, um, I don't even remember if this was Xbox or Microsoft rather. Um, it was this game that happens in the future. It's like, um, punk rock 2000 something something or whatever. It's been a heavily anticipated game, but obviously not heavily enough anticipated because I don't even fucking remember the name, but I'm sure you guys can fill in the fucking blanks. Um, Space Milk Alt came through with the $10 dono representing that nine. Cyberpunk 2077. Wait a second, bro. Wait a second. Has there been any information about this title? Because it looked kind of crazy from last E3, nigga. Bruh. Okay, this wasn't even Xbox. This is, this is a Sony thing. Okay, so we're in, I'm looking in completely the wrong place for this kind of stuff, but I mean, Xbox should still have a little something for us, man. Cyberpunk 2077, from what that trailer looked like and just from how the graphics are, bro, holy shit. And I mean, obviously, too, because we're all online goddamn weeaboos, man. So any themes that happen in a sense of cyberpunk land or something with regards to anime bitches or whatever, we're, we're going to go for it. That, that suits the Joy-Con gods right up our alley. So, I mean, but anyways, that's just one of the many titles that we're looking forward to, man. Um... Let me see here, Devolver Digital? 
on by the way shout out to um space milk all thank you for that um g4 g4 99 99 indeed he says yo thank you for buying my shirt nigga this isn't even my design yo i gotta tell y'all niggas before we continue this i didn't make this okay that nigga made it g499 he's the one that put it together um i just had to buy one because this shit was so clean bro i should I, i'll probably put together a joy con gods version on my own man i mean i gotta do something we gotta move in more silence boys i mean we have the keys now but we just gotta we gotta keep them on the low low bro but i mean it should be yo etika nice haircut bro yeah i had to find a new barber like i told you but i mean thank you oh y'all don't know oh, get, 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 ah! stop making me blush on this motherfucker man you you you, you tickle you tickling my heart right now stop it oh man you know every day we sometimes we have days where we don't feel as hot some days we have um great days i mean i'm, I'm feeling okay right now but you just boosted that motherfucker from a 70 to a 75 man you you you, you beautiful niggas like i said though man joy con gods we're all one i love y'all all man y'all all part of my heart you're on part of your hearts niggas it's all been won the whole goddamn time nigga i love y'all um daniel came through with ten dollars as well let me get back to um focusing on the actual schedule because we got to get to the nintendo part i want you dudes to know when nintendo goes down well, i'm gonna be going down probably two hours beforehand now, i ain't talking sexually nigga unless reggie wants me to <laughs> um Dokumich, hold on a second that's my fucking boy right there Dokumich, nigga welcome back to the streams he says he is hoping that we get blindsided with some crazy shit this year i'm bringing shots for the hype man I still got a bottle of Hennessy sitting right there on the counter, man. I bought a new draw, so we should be good. Um, and he says, a pillow, just in case we in for a nap or two. You see how prepared I am. Dog, it's like... <laughs> Listen, man, the super conscious could be telling you sometimes. I didn't even remember that EA was streaming today, and I fucking had the pillow right here, bro. I'm ready to go to sleep anytime, man. Listen, Joy-Con boys, it won't be a proper E3 without you first having your pillows together and having your Henny. <laughs> it won't be E3 without the Hennessy and without the pillows, bro. One to turn up and one to turn down, nigga. Um, NBH1883 came through to the stream, man. Uh, listen, stop trying to troll me on my microphone, silly, or else I'm gonna troll you with the microphone. It's not muted, bro. It could be muted. It could be muted, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fuck with y'all. Okay, fine. Keep talking about my microphone. That's the only thing you got to chill me on anyways. That, whatever. I don't care, nigga. Uh, Usamane? Usamane? Oh, hold on. Turn that up. Yo, my nigga, I am the French nigga that called you earlier. Yo, shout out to my motherfucking man. Ooh, I didn't even get your name on the phone, to be honest. Uh, my phone number is leaked, so I mean. Um, he says, yo, I'm the French nigga that called you earlier. This is my first donation ever to somebody, bro. Um, our interaction motivated me to go ahead and take the leap. But anyways, Joy-Con boys and Nine Gang represent all one and the same. Multiple names, but it's all the same thing. Iceman, Etika, TR1 Iceman, Etika from the Etika World Network, Desmond Amofa, Desi Dip Z, uh, Alco Z no matter how many names there are bro it all represents the same one entity bro it's all the same niggas think joy-con boys and nine gang are separate they ain't separate bro sicko psycho came through to the stream too saying yo etika man i hope that you're doing well listen man i'm taking it one day at a time little by little progress cannot be made overnight man rome wasn't built in a day i'm doing the best i absolutely can man but it's only thanks to niggas like y'all and by the way my goddamn notifications for the fucking donations are so basic and bare bones man i listen i i don't usually apologize for shit unless i'm actually in the wrong with some shit but this is one thing that i'm going to say i apologize for these lame ass donation alerts man i usually have like a lot more cool stuff mixed up in there but right now i i, I just it takes so much work to kind of creatively think and i haven't really been on a creative grind as much i've been more on like a hustle 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 work grind so i mean It'll come through eventually, man. The shit puts me to sleep when I see it. The fucking Majora's... Not to say Majora's Mask is boring, but I'm just saying... It's... It's... Ugh! I gotta update that shit eventually. But anyways, thank you for bearing with me with the patience and all that, man. Um, shout out to uh, my niggas who came through earlier. The French nigga, bro. It was really cool talking to you on the phone, man. Um, Psycho? Psycho, thank you for your contribution. NBH came through as well. Um, hold on. He had said, Etik, I hope you're having a good day. I'm really excited to watch your streams this week. So expect some donos, nigga. Oh shit, bro! Hold on, the boy, the E3 boys are coming through, man. Listen, 
Listen, man, I'm not trying to force you to watch anything you don't want to watch, but if you're going to be here spending the E3 week with the boy E, I mean, it's E3 on E Live, nigga. How else are you going to be spending this shit? If you're going to be spending the week with me on this E Live shit, watching E3 go down, let me get a motherfucking nine, Joy-Con God. Thank you very, very much for your support, guys. It means a lot to me, obviously. It means a lot to all content creators. We wouldn't be able to do what we do if it wasn't for y'all niggas. But at the same time, y'all wouldn't have entertainment if it wasn't for us. So we got to hold each other at literal necks to get shit done, bro. Um, Deso Fad came through again. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, He says, wait, he sent me a status. And um, the best came through. He says, nigga, my donation got cut off because the stream went down. Did he get it? Wait a second. I didn't even see that you fucking... Really? Really? Holy shit. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me check real quick. Deso, I got you. Space Milk Alt 9 Gang, nigga. G499, I got you. Daniel, I got you. He says, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? What's this? What's this? Yo, Etika, I've been watching you for about a year now. And this is my first time doing it. I approve of... Um, I appreciate you, bro. And also, my dad kisses my butt every night, 9 Gang. Look, that's not something I'll be able to help you with, bro. All I can do is suggest for you to, like get out of the situation man i mean maybe maybe try to hit up the fbi head I, you know I, I live near the fbi headquarters i could help you with that bro we can get the party van after that nigga no question all right just just let me know my phone number's public you can call me nigga crispy came through with 20 man thank you very much crispy are we here right now we chilling right now bro we good look i mean it's either this or motherfucker watch ea but don't worry i got other stuff on the itinerary but it's just i don't want to go to sleep right now so i'm gonna let ea rock for a little bit longer um yo my nigga etika i've been watching your shit for a while now and i love your content sorry I couldn't donate more. Listen, don't fuck. I hate when niggas. You good, bro. You good. Twenty twenty dollars is twenty dollars, nigga. You good money. Don't worry about it. He says, yo, I was feeling really, really down due to due to what? Hold on, hold on. Due to what? He says I was feeling really down due to my girlfriend dumping me today, but I saw you streaming and that boosted my spirit. Listen, listen, bro. I'm sorry about that, man. Yo. A lot of the time recently, there's been niggas coming to me. Uh, it's been happening a lot. Is it because it's summertime that dudes' girlfriends are breaking up with them? Are, are, are girls now just going for, like, the more fucking buff guys or some shit? Like, I don't know. Are, are relationships in general just ending more because it's summertime? Well, don't worry, bro. Soon, every, every single person that had somebody break up with them, whether male or female, don't worry. Soon, you will have the advantage. Summertime won't last forever. Cuffing season will come. And when cuffing season comes, that's when everybody goes to try to get back to together with niggas man so it's a summertime thing all right everybody's half naked outside i know i am every time i go outside because i gotta display my but i mean don't, don't worry about it don't take it too seriously okay shit will be okay um Os osama a nigga named osama hose is mad right now hose is mad bro you got to keep that in mind osama came through he said yo what's going on etika shout out to my nigga osama that doesn't even sound right, bro. Shout out to my nigga Osama who says, yo, I hopped on the stream. I got a friend that's been visited from um, Homeland Security in the US. They don't fuck around. Anyway, shout out to James. Yeah, man, they really don't. Uh, you happy now, nigga? Shout out to Usame. His name looks like mine. And it is my first dono ever. Shout out to my nigga Osama, man. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm expecting another Secret Service visit shortly after the stream. As if the other shit that happened before with the jihadi thing wasn't bad enough. These niggas probably think I'm working on a bomb in this bitch or something. Don't report me. Um, Yoshi Killer came through as well. That's my fucking nigga right there. Shout out to my nigga Yoshi Killer. He says, yo, what's going on, Etika? I hope you like my ideas for the stream um, during the summer. Bro, I was taking a bunch of ideas down, man. Um, look, this is a big reason uh, while I'm still checking the E3 schedule. Um, the Diner came through with 1134. Thank you, The Diner. The Diner like a diner where you eat or is it is this like another name that you came up with like mine when i was 13 years old and it made no sense but it worked anyways because you just decided to go with the flow um he says first time donating because i'm actually broke broke niggas shouldn't be donating <laughs> why that ten dollars could get you how many slices of dollar pizza nigga ten bro don't play around here um he says yo man i'm hyped for what nintendo is going to announce i'm hoping for some metroid prime 4 uh uh I'm sorry, sir, but I got to do this to you. Uh, Metroid Prime 4 is... That, that shit is not happening until like 2022 or something, bro. I mean, I, I hate to break it. They, they, they had to restart the whole game from scratch, and they're giving it to, to Retro now, who originally designed the games, apparently. So it... Or is it, or are they giving it to someone else? No, I think they're giving it to Retro. So, I mean, yeah, that, that shit. I mean, it's a hopeful thing. Trust me. I, I mean, if, if they actually did reveal something for it, th that would blow me back. But from what I've been told, what was expressed to me, it's apparently a fucking rap. But um, we have other stuff to look forward to, like, 
Pikmin 4, apparently, or Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing is a big one. I'm excited for that, even though I've never played an Animal Crossing before, but a prior girl that I was talking to got me super excited for it. So that's kind of why I'm an Animal Crossing fiend now. And you, got, you can't forget that Isabelle's inclusion in Smash Brothers kind of hypes it up a little bit more for me too. Um, MBH came through as well. Oh, wait, hold on, I didn't even get to finish reading that one. Um, Metro Prime Former Animal Crossing. Oh. Okay, Animal Crossing details, but um, more importantly, some love for retro games. The current um, online service is really not enough. God almighty, bro. I can't talk. Don't get me started about Nintendo's online service, man. I mean, I, I, I don't like being super critical about stuff that kind of doesn't have much potential to change. It's like, okay, might as well accept it for what it is. But I mean, damn it, bro. That online, I know no online service is perfect. They can't give you completely latency-free or lagless inputs, but I mean... It's for Nintendo, bro. Now that niggas are paying for it, it just shines a little bit more. I'm hoping that they can do something to improve it, man. But I mean, uh, we'll we'll see. I, I hope so. I mean, I hope for like maybe this year some quality of life improvements for the Nintendo Switch as well in terms of like the home screen. Maybe you can customize that shit. That would be great. Uh, but, you know, that's kind of reaching a little bit, man. But we'll see. They did it with the 3DS, nigga. Um, Perfect Grade Titan came through with $10 saying, Yo, what's going on, Etika? First time don't knowing. Your boy is super excited to watch E3 with you. Thank you, bro. Have you been keeping up with Attack on Titan Season 3? The shit is fire. Attack on Titan, bro. I, there's so many series that I got to keep up with now that I just have not been able to. I'm not going to be able to watch AOT probably until July, nigga. Being real, bro. I got too much shit that I got to get done, man. It ain't enough time, bro. But I mean, eventually. I just wish I could watch it on camera, bro. That would be the main thing for me, bro. Like... But, I mean, that's not going to happen, apparently. The donos are coming in heavy today, guys. Hold on. Hold on with your donations. Don't donate any more to me. Save your money. We're going to be streaming all day today. Y'all don't got to shove your money down my throat in the first fucking hour, guys. <laughs> We're going to be going for a little bit longer today. So, hold Are we back? Once again, man, I got to get this shit fixed up. Sorry about that, fellas. My, my fucking computer is on some shit right now, man. I'm going to wait until we get back. I didn't, get even, I didn't even get a chance to fucking... Um, Finish reading out my boy real quick. No, the FBI didn't shut nothing down. I think we're okay. Refresh. I hope the FBI didn't shut nothing down. Oh, shit. Dog, we didn't even do anything. We didn't even go to the deep web yet, man. Come on. Come on. Secret service. Secret service. Cut your boy some slack. I didn't do anything yet. You can't shut a nigga down just for talking about the nine gang, bro. The FBI is here, bro. I think, bro, every time we get close. <laughs> Listen. Okay, I think we're good now. Holy shit, bro. I, I, heard, I heard a knock on the door, and I was like, wait. Sorry, I had to turn the stream off, man. Niggas came to the door. They had their guns drawn, and they was like, yo, Etika, man. We're here to take you back to the ward for the fifth time, bro. It's time to come with us. I was like, well, fuck. Uh, anyways, I got out of the ward super quick, so now we're back. I literally made a visit just now. We're back now. We're good. Do I call him gods? You know what I'm saying, man? Shout out to the boys, man. Y'all still here? Listen, it's not even a bad thing that the stream continuously um, restarts itself. That's the stream's way. That's the universe's way of filtering out who's the bitch niggas, all right? What kind of nigga is going to be watching the stream and be like, oh, Etika's stream keeps disconnecting, but you know what? I'm done with this nigga. Fuck it. And you're going to walk away, bro? Nah, bro. I'm not here for the bitch niggas, bro. I'm here for the real ones, man. I mean, the policy is still the same. And trust me, as the um, as time goes on, bro, as time goes on with me and this new, completely wholesome mentality, connection to the universe, subliminal mind, motherfucking super conscious mind, all that other bullshit, the nine gang nigga, as time goes on, I'm going to put it more on the forefront that this channel is not about the bitch niggas. This channel ain't about the snitch niggas. It's about motherfuckers who are ready to take life in their own hands and make it what the fuck they want to make it, man. And I'm hoping that maybe just me by living by that policy rather than preaching to niggas, I'm just going to live by the same policy that i believe in and maybe i'll influence motherfuckers to do what they want to with their lives because you're a human being you have way more power than you think you do and you could do way more of a number on the world than you think you can and you know what the number is that i'm doing on the world nine nigga <laughs> that's not a nine that's a six <laughs> perspective bro um shout out to 10 30 thank you for coming through thank you um he says how is the nine base going 
I'm going to talk about 2B2T in a second, all right? But first and foremost, I want to go through um, the E3 schedule. So give me a second. I asked y'all to stop donating. You're still donating to me. All right, so thank you. But I'm going to have to put them on pause for now until I go through the schedule. I really want to get through, but I will be shouting out. I'll just be reading through them after I read through the schedule. But um, in terms of E3, bro, shout out to Daniel once again for coming through. He says, another one for my boy to show how much I appreciate you. Got to be quick before my dad comes in to kiss me. I told you, we can help you, man, if shit is really that serious. Don't worry, man. I'll, I'll, the FBI keeps shutting down the stream. You might as well let them know if there's some abuse going on. <laughs> Stupid ass nigga. Thank you. Okay, Devolver Digital. Da -da -da -da. While it's not a AAA press conference, Devolver Digital Showcase is always jam-packed, full of quirky, brilliant, and utterly watchable. I thought I was about to say unwatchable. Indie game goodness. Indie games. Do you? <laughs> indie games, man. Hey, listen, shout out to the indie heads. But so far from Nintendo, I think we're getting fucking indie shoved down our throats. You feel me? Um, Fatty Tuna came through with $10. Fatty Tuna, thank you, man. I'm not going to be able to read you right now because I'm still trying to go through the schedule. I'll read out all the donos after I finish reading. Through. Bethesda. Okay. So obviously, this is going to be a big one for a lot of y'all niggas. Um, as you can read above, Elder Scrolls is going to feature in some way. Oh, really? Are they gonna be doing another fucking remake? Like, I remember, I remember last, e do you remember last E3? When Bethesda, they revealed like the mobile shit and they and niggas were like, fuck man, this ain't what we wanted. Yoshi Killer, shout out to you, bro. He says, yo, I'm, yo, I'm, but you need to react to this. I'm not sure what he's talking about there, but Yoshi, well, I'll check it out in a second. Much love to you, bro, but I'll check it in a second. I just want to get through the schedule thing. Niggas say I have a low attention span anyways, but. I want to prove them wrong. I want to prove I can get through this shit, all right? I want to analyze this motherfucker. Nintendo is live. Yeah, but they're not doing... Nintendo's not doing anything in terms of, like, reveals or stuff, but we, we can... I mean, there's EA live, too, but we can check out both. I'm probably going to be checking out Nintendo a little bit today. I mean, watch us, like, not go on and then them reveal something big and I'm left out in the cold like, fuck. But um, in terms of actual Bethesda shit, uh, let me see here... Uh, Dragon fan doing their Elder Scrolls online. It's gonna be an interesting year for Bethesda fans, regardless, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, will they be revealing the next version? Or are they gonna just be? Oh, okay. You know what? Let me let me just make sure, cause I. Hold on. Nintendo E3 live. Are them niggas live right now? Hey, 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 hey. Okay, they're doing this shit. The fucking um World Championships. Which isn't like, it's not like the most, like, I, I'm not going to sit here watching this the whole time, but y'all niggas, like, I want to look at everything that's been happening as a whole, but I'll leave them up and on the side, actually, just the same way that I have, um, wait, EA ended? Wait a second, oh, these niggas are done? Oh, oh, wait, no, never mind, they're, wait, yeah, yeah, they're done, okay, cool, so, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be rocking out with that, but I mean, we got Nintendo open up on the side right here. If they reveal something, bro, we're going to know. All right. I'm going to have the motherfuckers right there. But for now, let me also jump back into the schedule reading really quick. PC gaming. Okay. Another presentation. Um, We're probably going to be watching this too. When, wait, as a fact, let me just check when Bethesda goes down. Bethesda is late night, bro. We're talking 10 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. So sun so Sunday we're gonna have to fucking tomorrow we're gonna have to start like at I don't wanna miss Microsoft. I don't wanna miss Microsoft, but I don't hmm. Oh wait a minute, no, this is for Devolver Digital. Okay. Okay, so we're good. So you know what? I'm gonna stream a little bit earlier on that day. I'll probably stream at like two or three PM Eastern time, and then we'll go into uh Let me see. This happens on Sunday, right? This is all on Sunday. We'll be able to catch um, Bethesda too, I guess. We'll have to wait a little bit late. It's going to be a long stream tomorrow, I guess. And then we have um, the 10th on Monday. Ubisoft goes down on Monday. Um, shout out to Vonify who came through with $10. He said, what's up, my boy? Ready your, for your E3 stream? Hopefully there is some Pokemon news. Have fun for the rest of the stream. Vonify, thank you, man. Appreciate the fucking love. Um, Pokemon stuff, I think... I think they're definitely going to reveal a little bit more to us, even though it feels like we've been getting a lot because here's the thing, right? Pokemon puts out like a general presentation with their uh, live stream and then it's like other information kind of gets filtered through like Cerebi starts posting stuff. We get some screenshots. We get some video behind the scene that didn't even appear in the original trailer or direct. And it's like, yo, I feel like we got a lot of Pokemon stuff now. But I mean, at the same time, they basically revealed like what? Five, six new Pokemon Dynamax. And then, um, 
what else? Not too many other elements outside of that. But those elements were pretty damn juicy. Um, I think they also reveal typing of some Pokemon, but I, I can't be 100% sure. I want to go back over the Pokemon information. This song is called um, Aesthetics Please Emotion. I, it's so good. I have it twice on my playlist. Uh, all right. Now, e excuse me, not EA. Now, Ubisoft. These guys are the ones that be doing the Assassin's Creed shit, the Just Dance shit and all that. Are they going to be revealing? Uh, wait a second. Hold on. News of a rumored Assassin's Creed Viking game. All right, I'm going to open that up on the side, nigga. I, I, hey, listen, I'm an Assassin's Creed head, bro. Like, my one of my uh, ex-girlfriends, she put me heavy onto that shit. Um, it's not out until 2020. Something Far Cry shape, probably not until after Far Cry and Far Cry New Dawn. Ghost Recon. Oh, yeah, Ubisoft does a lot. Oh, Beyond Good and Evil 2. That's a big, big title right there, man. That's like a cult classic being fucking brought back to life. Very impressive um, from what I remember the trailer being like too, like the female protagonist and all these other fucking crazy ass um, elements of uh, characters mixed in there. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil 2 is definitely going to be one to keep the eye on, man. Square Enix now. All right, now we can find out um, what century Final Fantasy 7 is coming out with. Hopefully they have more information about this when it goes down. Square Enix held its own E3 live stream last year for the first time, and it wasn't great. Uh, this was also where they kind of trolled me. Do you remember that? When Square Enix trolled me and they were like, oh yeah, we have Near Autonoma. And then it was like, wait a second, whoa, is that coming to the Switch? And then it was like, no, that's Xbox, bro. So, I mean, but why would you reveal it coming for the Xbox during your own... Pre I was so fucked up by that. And niggas made fun of me. But I, I understand why. Uh, it was kind of funny. I, I, I laughed at it in retrospect. Um, McThankies came through to the stream too. McThankies, he says... What's up, my boy? I'm having a great day today, as usual. I'm excited for you are for E3. Besides EA, the stream's gonna be a banger, like all your other streams, man. Uh, after E3, do you plan on getting back on that 2B2T grind, my boy? I know I am. Stay woke. I I know y'all want 2B2T updates. I'm gonna be talking about 2B2T after I get through the E3 stuff, because otherwise I'll be getting caught up and I'll be here for another hour without any information being revealed or anything being looked up. Uh, let me see. Now we have the big boys. This is on Tuesday, June 11th, um, but for Monday, we know on Sunday we're going to probably be streaming for midday, but one of these niggas doing this shit. PC gaming show? Uh, that's going to be like, in the yeah, we'll be able to watch this. I'll probably be streaming around the same time as I am today. Um, we can definitely catch this. And then Square Enix, we can definitely catch that. That's going to be a full day stream, bro. Sounds like fun to me. We're going to be locked the fuck in. And then now we have Nintendo. This is going to be on June 11th. This is going to be the big day, boys. Make sure you set, like, three alarms for this motherfucker. I don't know what time they're doing this shit. 12 Eastern? Wait a second. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me, bro. Fuck it. We wake up at noon. We watch the shit. Complex Game came through with $10 as well. He says, Etika, man, I'm fitting to spend the whole E3 with you, my nigga. Represent 999. 999 in the building, bro. You see me wearing that 9 right here, nigga. I got you. Shout out to Complex, man. Always cool seeing you in the streams. I'm glad that you decided to give your soul to the Joy-Con men. Don't worry. I'll be using this quite nicely, my boy. <laughs> Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you. Someone, wait. Rap Battle said, add Nightbot. I'm not adding no bots to this motherfucker. Nah, man. The bots are just gonna... Every time I try to add a bot, people always wind up getting banned for stupid shit because it's like the bot is way too strict, man. I don't, it's a lot of work setting that thing up. Maybe I should. Maybe I should to like prevent maybe... But you know, I don't mind the spam too much as long as it's not like annoying spam. I mean, spam is like a natural part of the internet, you know? Anyways, I'm going off topic. Nintendo has confirmed with E3... Oh, wait a second. The 11th is only Nintendo, nigga. Them niggas got their own shit reserved, bro. And Sony is... Okay, we definitely got to check this one out, too. I want to see what the fuck Sony's doing. But Nintendo is going to be taking its regular slot on Tuesday morning of the E3 show. Before it starts properly, uh, with Sony out of the picture, I did think that Nintendo was pick another time for its slot. But tradition is good, I suppose. Them niggas are trying to play things as close... As close to the curb as possible. Um, Nintendo E3 website is now live and will be the best place to watch the show. We have currently the Nintendo World Championships up here. Um, they're playing a little bit of Splatty Thorn. Mm. Alright, so that's basically the schedule right there. It's annoying porn spam. Well, spam is spam, man. Look, if you if they're spamming porn links, maybe check the link out. It might be something good. You might you might discover a new fetish. But one fetish that I definitely have is for Nintendo's E3 presentation. Big stuff is going to be happening for Nintendo this year, man. I mean, Smash Brothers, you can just say Smash and leave it alone. That'll do everything. But um, in terms of what Nintendo is going to be bringing to the table um, outside of Smash, 
Astral Chain is big for me. They could obviously also be revealing a lot of indie stuff. I think their presentation is going to be jam-packed of things, and they could potentially be talking about the, um, hold on a second. They could be talking about the motherfucking Switch Pro and Switch Mini shit that we saw leaked from the Wall Street Journal and shit like that. It's kind of, it's kind of a big year for Nintendo, man, and we want to kind of see what the follow-up to the Switch is going to be, so... Yeah, that June 11th, catch me for that. Tomorrow, catch me for um, Microsoft. And then tom- the day after that, wait, no, that's Monday. Um, and the day after that, we're going to do Ubisoft and Square Enix and the PC gaming show. I'm, I want to make a video talking about it, but since we're already live anyways, niggas are going to be on here watching this shit, so it doesn't really fucking matter. Dog. Niggas are posting links up. Okay, okay, I said click the link. You might find something new or you might find a virus. I'm not talking about a virus for your body. I'm talking about a virus for your PC. Be careful, niggas, okay? Don't, um, Etika, you can check rab.it so you can stream anime. I tried, but the website is, it's, it's too, I think it's going through technical difficulties, man. I don't think it can host a bunch of people. I think it was meant to host like only a couple. I don't know, man, but anyways um shout out to the boys thank y'all for sitting through that that took a long time but at least we have our schedule kind of lined up for us in a way so i'll be trying to see if i can make the stream events kind of set up beforehand so that way you can at least see them and be like oh okay that's going down then this is going down then you know what i'm saying don't tell viewers to click sketchy links well i'm joking at the end of the day bro no don't don't click sketchy links unless it has a youtube in the url don't click that bitch Oh shit, man! Don't uh, I? I don't. That's the last thing I need right now. Motherfuckers sending me. We don't need niggas making articles like this. Niggas getting everybody hacked, bro. That, that that's my responsibility and mine alone. All right, for when I go back to the deep web or whatever. But I mean, right now I think we're good. Now let me hold on. Let me go back real quick. I did not read out a lot of my fucking boys that have come through earlier. But I'm gonna see what the hell these niggas got to say, and then I'm gonna be checking out what the hell the deal is with Sony, because I thought Sony was gonna be doing like an actual present well something i mean if it wasn't like a presentation or like a live presentation weren't they going to be doing some digital shit um fatty tuna he he says etika have you played earthbound it's a great game i played a little bit of it i suggest you play it on stream or something also hope for something at e3 with earthbound in it or you're talking about mother three aren't you i'm that's a big big ask at this point nintendo kind of even trolled niggas with that shit i don't know if it's really going to go down but it'd be a nice surprise obviously watch this it's a cute animation about earthbound it is really really great let me open that bitch up in another tab real quick appreciate the love man thank you um ebizio saying yo etika watch this video it's only 22 seconds all right well niggas are pulling my attention away um let me see is let me just make sure nothing important is going down with motherfucking nintendo bro let me see here I don't feel like watching this right now, guys. I mean, this platoon is cool and all, but maybe we'll check in after this. When is it supposed to be done? Not to say that, you know, it's not interesting or whatever. It's definitely interesting seeing, like, some of the top players play this shit, but this is not something I want to be engaged with the whole entire stream. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Complex Game. Thank you. McThankies. He says, what's going on, bro? Um, no, no, I got that one. Bonify, I got you. Yoshi Killer. Okay, let me grab your link real quick. This one. My Hero Academia Abridge Episode 1. You know, I'm not really a huge My Hero guy. Like, uh, a girl I knew before tried to get me into it, but I, I didn't really, it didn't really stick with me. But not to say that it's not good, but I mean, I'll give it a chance. But these Abridge series, man, they, even Dragon Ball Z Abridge never really hit me too hard. But maybe I'm just a weirdo. But either way, Yoshi Killer, thank you, bro. Um, Perfect Grade Titan came through earlier saying, yo, what's going on, Etika? The boys are here. First time donating. Your boys are um, excited to watch E3 with you. Oh, wait, I read that one. Thank you. Thank you, man. Miles McKee, thank you. Um, Z Fuck saying, Etika, man, first time donating. Check this one out, man. I got you. It's a fucking meme. Huh? Wait a second. This one looks kind of like it hits a little bit home, nigga. Turn that bitch up. Turn that bitch up. Wait a second. Hey. Hey, 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 cyberpunk gameplay? The fucking cat. That is the most Photoshop looking thing I've ever seen, bro. But it's not the first time I've seen it, man. Kill em All came through with $10, bro. Thank you to Kill em All, man. Not, not, not exactly a kosher name, but it works for me, man. He says, I ain't going to stay in the stream. I'm about to head to work, but I will watch the archives. Have a good stream, Des. Nine gang, indeed. Nine gang all day, every day, bro. But we got to talk about... Okay, here's the thing, right? Since Nintendo's not doing anything of particular interest right now, we need to talk about something that's really, really actually juicy to us. Now... Let me set you let me set y'all boys up real quick. Now, when it comes to E3, when it comes to any gaming stuff, obviously the official announcements are pretty damn good. But 
when you talk about potential leaks or stuff that could be coming that isn't supposed to be revealed yet that's where i thrive the most there's apparently been some bullshit floating around online that's been making niggas shaking their boots about super smash brothers all right and it is the silliest thing because it's most likely fake but this still could be potentially a reflection of what reality has to offer. Shout out to Puss Dustin for um, documenting some of this stuff. I haven't been able to document stuff on my own as of um, easily as of late. So it's always good to see that niggas are on top of this shit. But this is apparently the protagonist from this Fire Emblem Three Houses game and being put into Smash. Now, this obviously can't be too... This is I, I doubt that this is actually real, but the nigga the nigga himself says that there's no way this leak is uh, legitimate. There's some weird spacing on the text, and the characters don't look right. Um, this was all apparently from a 4chan thread or something, man. So I mean, this is this could just be some fabricated shit. But do you nigga said no? Nigga said no. Don't do it. Listen, that's why I had to tell you guys straight up, honestly, man. Even though this is a fake leak. What are the chances that this could actually be what manifests in reality, bro? Is Sakurai really trying to put another Fire Emblem character in the game, bro? This nigga's being fucking... Yo, yo listen. The, here, here's what I've learned. The last two months, I learned about the law of attraction, okay? What you fucking put in the mind and think about and mull over all the time will manifest in front of you if you put the work in to get it, right? So, I don't... We gotta call in Artsy Omni now. <laughs> Artie Omni, wait a second. We need an opinion from the boy. We need to know. He's the one. He's the one I trust when it comes to invalidating these leaks, all right? I got to check out my nigga because I'm scared now. <laughs> what if this is legit? Dog, Fire Emblem. It's happening. Marth 2.0. He dead ass looks like a Marth 2.0, nigga. I'm um, Haxified saying, yo, Etika, check out this short meme. Haxified, thank you, man. I'm going to open this bitch up real quick. I'm just a little bit on a topic, you know, so I'm kind of trying to keep on topic. Thank you. Thank you for the links. I'm saving all the links that you guys sent me. I'm going to be watching them. But if I'm on topic with something, I'm probably just going to be on topic until. But I mean, I saved the links up. You know, I got my whole shit filled up right now. Thanks to y'all niggas. Thank y'all. Um, in fact, I can actually close um, Division 2. That's Ubisoft shit. I'll close that. And PlayStation. I'm going to check this out in a little bit, man, after we talk about this. I just had to bring it up real quick. Sweet and Savory came through. Thank you, Sweet and Savory. Always good to see your ass in here. A uh, fellow Joy-Con god in the flesh. He says, yo, it's good to see you, brother. No coincidences. No bystanders. No limits, nigga. He says, check out Yuma's ancestry. You would be surprised, bro. What is this? Something in relate? Like, so, so is Yuma World related to me now? Is that is that what you're telling me, bro? I'm going to open that link up right here, bro. I got you. How black am I? DNA test from Yuma World. Good God almighty. Okay. I, I, I feel like this is somehow, some way going to tie into me, but... Anywho's, I gotta. I just wanted to check out my nigga RT Omni real quick. Dawn and Chant came through with ten. Thank you, man. He says, "Hey, nine gang nigga, I'm excited to watch the streams this week. Anti incursion two gang is out here, boys. First time donating. We're about to get these nine gang niggas some loot for this war, bro. Got the stashes on deck, dog. Okay, after we go through a couple of these leaks and stuff, then I'll be talking about um." Then I'll be talking about 2B2T, all right? And then I'm going to be going into the Sony stuff. And then I'll be checking out the videos and stuff that y'all send me. Right now, I'm just a little too on top. I'm, I'm pinpoint precision right now. I got to get this out of me. Because if I go without talking about these leaks or whatever, then I'm going to explode, bro. I got to share it with the boys somehow, some way. Since I wasn't able to make a video, I got to do it on stream, man. Now, this isn't the only kind of leak that we've been experiencing, bro. Or fake leak or whatever. Or something that's been running the rounds. Hold on a second. Okay, 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 <laughs> I gotta, okay, who's been here since 2014? Do you remember, like, when I used to cover a lot of those fake leaks in succession and kind of, like, hype them up a little bit? Because it was still new to us back then. We didn't know what was real or what wasn't. But at some point, man, certain things became so ostentatiously fake that we stopped talking about him eventually because it would just lead into more and more of the same it would be kind of annoying at some point man shout out to the boys who have been here for that long shout out to everybody in the chat saying yes i've been here since okay you don't have to be here since 2014 but if you've been here since 2016 you remember the era where i was legit covering a bunch of these fucking leaks that happened and i stopped because there were just too many happening and it was so hard to validate which ones were legit and which ones weren't there was okay <laughs> I gotta show you. I gotta show you. <laughs> this is the stupidest shit. There was a leak that happened a, a, a couple of days ago, and um, I and there's this nigga, right? 
who's now apparently infamous for covering leaks and shit. It's a nigga named Lax. <laughs> no shade. Listen, I'm not throwing shade at him, but this nigga named Lax Chris. I think I saw it on his channel. And there was this one leak that he covered that it just had me like, holy shit, bro. For real, for real. I mean, I'm not I'm not throwing hate on the nigga. I'm not throwing hate on the nigga. 1030 came through with $10. Thank you, man. I'm Tem. It's good to see your ass in here. He says E3 stands for Epic Threesome. Well, with how, how many people do we have in the stream right now? Like 4,000 or whatever? What do you call a massive sexual act involving 4,000 people? What would that be in E3 terms? Would that be E4,000, nigga? Well, that's just speculation. I'm using my creative mind a little bit more for this shit. Thank you for coming through regardless, man. Um, hold on. I gotta, I gotta at least... Okay, there's been a lot of stuff that's been happening with like the leak scene in terms of fake stuff, real stuff. But this is a video that I saw. Okay, I gotta, I gotta... I'm not throwing shade because I'm subscribed to the nigga. You know, I'm subscribed. I mean, I think it's fun. But leaked Smash Ultimate Newcomer Reveal Trailer. New character confirmed at E3. With a title like that, nigga, that's, that's a really bold title right there. You would think, holy shit, like, that is, there's no room for error. That is 100% real. I gotta warn y'all, niggas, we might be in for some spoilers with this. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, I gotta, oh, Deso Fag saying your boy been here since 2015. Deso Fag. Okay, so you remember, 2015 was the year where I first moved into that apartment with my ex, and I was covering the stuff. I had the whole, like, black and white shit with the, you know, you, you remember those times, man. I had the cat in the background, I had the tree, I had the red carpet, man, you remember that shit. Okay, let me just show y'all this leak. This, with that title. A title like that. Take a look. This doesn't have any audio, apparently. This is a new character reveal trailer, bro. Oh, shit. Is that Metroid, nigga? <laughs> it's Metroid. Look. Holy shit, bro. Th Nintendo's going ham. Okay. I will say that the person that made this put a lot of effort into this, you know? I don't think this was ever meant to be perceived to be real or not, but, you know, there's just some niggas that want to motherfucking take it as that. I... Anyways, it's Toad. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Have you have y'all seen this before? Now this is definitely. Uh, I don't think this is meant to be presented as like a actual. <laughs> the nigga got the T pose, bro. Source filmmaker nigga. It's so funny how Toad decides. You know what? Actually, fuck this bitch. I don't need her. I I'm, I'm I'm newcomer status, nigga. Fuck it. Dude decides to get the hell out the way. He hit her with the yeet. <laughs> And he's like, hey, she's dead. Let's go. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I would have definitely covered something like this if I was still doing videos. I mean, it's fun. You know, it, it's silly. But I, I don't know. I wouldn't have presented it as that. But, like, that's what I'm saying. The, the leak scene is kind of is kind of erupting. But there was, there was some legit shit that was happening. Okay, I forgot. Oh, sorry. I ear raped the hell out of y'all niggas. My bad. I forget where my audio is sometimes, man. But there has been some actual legitimate motherfucking leaks, bro. Um, Shofu had covered them at one point. Sorry, I know, I know. Every time I put it down to the X, it's like, oh wait, the volume goes all the way to 99. I blew y'all ears. If your ears are bleeding right now, let me get a one. If you're okay, let me get a zero. If you got, if, if your ears are actually bleeding, I'll send you a med kit tonight. You'll get it in the mail. Um, I'll use Amazon Prime to get it to your ass, all right? They do the same day shipping thing, so y'all be good. Um, in terms of um, actual leaks though, there has been some shit that went down, man. 4chan has been all over the place. Have y'all seen it? The guy, okay, most of y'all ears aren't bleeding. Look at the zeros, okay. If, if they if there are, I apologize. I'll lick the blood up for you. How about that, okay? Now, let me see here. Where was that actual, my source is all over the place, man. Let me see, where was that shit? It was on 4chan, bro. I think the thread might be gone by now, but I wanna go through that with y'all niggas. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, turn that shit up. Do you have insurance, bro? Who's got insurance? Hey, hey, hey. Where that thread at, Shofu? Well, we can just go to his video, bro, and check it out from there. I just want to see if he has the shit up here now. Hey, my fucking nigga Shofu, bro. All right, so I would just watch the video with y'all, but um, 
let me see here um he has his commentary on it you can definitely check out show food shit but i'm gonna be talking i'm gonna be going to the leaks and actually pausing it to kind of get a little bit more of a look into it now this is a fucking 4chan thread that was posted like what two weeks before the actual pokemon direct went down um shovel goes into heavy duty detail about the shit but i just want to skim over it with y'all niggas the first thing that he talked about um i don't know if y'all can see it too well but he talked about how the nigga's name is hop let me see if i can actually get um i want to see if i can get like a, a image of all these things together um Etika, you missed my friend mbn 1883's donations hold on a second well i'll be able to read back once i actually i just want to get through my e3 shit real quick i'll be able to read back don't worry just rock with me for a second uh hold on i'm gonna pull this up uh e four channel and shield leak boom there we go we got the news article talking about this shit bro i want to pull this thing up man Okay, so here we go. We have we have the details right here, bro. Now, this is going to be... If you die as... Okay, this could potentially be real shit, all right? Now, before we continue, man, maybe a lot of y'all had already seen this, but I don't want to bear no responsibility. We're covering stuff that could potentially be real because the nigga who posted what we're about to read was way before the motherfucking Pokemon Direct went down. So this shit is most likely true, bro. It is real. Yeah, bro. This is definitely legit. But he doesn't... Don't worry. He doesn't reveal like... Well, yeah, he does. He does. He talks about, um, I think, the starters and what they become. It's big, bro. It's big. So if you're not a bitch nigga, if you're not a bitch nigga and you want to go through with this, you want to read this on stream with me, then let me get an NBN in the chat. But if you are a bitch nigga and you don't want me to go through with this, then let me get a zero, okay? Actually... Yeah, let me get an NBN if you want me to continue reading this leak. I'm going to anyways. Let me get a zero if you don't give a fuck, all right? Hey, hold on a second. I see the boy saying the right thing. All right, good shit, niggas. Good shit. No zeros. No zeros. Let's fucking do it then. Let's fucking do it. All right, I got it. Hold on. Let me let me um, make sure that we're good here. Boom, we're good. All right. So here we go. This is apparently really real stuff. It was on 4chan, but I doubt the thread is actually still around. Let me see. Is there a link? Let me see if there's a link to this bitch. Probably not. But um, anyways, it doesn't really matter. I just kind of like reading in the 4chan um, format too. But it just was a little bit difficult with how Shofu's video was a little bit more zoomed out. So I mean, anyways, your rival is named Hop. They predicted this 100% accurate. Um, but you'll be facing off against Bed and Marine. Um, Mar Marnie? Okay. Team Yell is the gang in this game who are also well-meaning fans of Marnie causing trouble again. Now, here's the thing. Maybe it's because I'm a dumbass. I don't fucking remember who the hell Marnie. Did we meet Marnie? Did we see anything of Marnie, nigga? I, I, I mean, I remember, I remember some other characters from that direct, but I don't remember Marnie being one of them. Toasty saying, "Hey, my nigga, you got a door yet?" No, my nigga, there's no door on my apartment still, man. Anybody can walk in this bitch. But I mean, hey, nothing bad's happened so far. I ain't trying to manifest nothing bad happening, man. I think everything will be fine. But Toasty, I appreciate the concern, bro. Yeah, we didn't meet no Marnie, but apparently this is somebody who's going to be in the game who also has a team of niggas who are just a bunch of fanboys. So the equivalent of Marnie and Team Yell is the equivalent of me and you, nigga. Marnie is Etika and Team Yell is the Joy-Con gang, the Nine gang, the boys, the gods, the niggas. It sounds cool to me. Is Marnie going to be like some kind of fucking content creator or like an influencer or a YouTuber in this game? Who knows? But I mean, it's a definitely a cool angle if Nintendo somehow mixed in social media with Pokemon in like the way that's relevant to us, nigga. Marnie, a YouTuber or something? What? <laughs> Shout out to the <laughs> no, 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 them intros, bro. Um, Team Yell is literally a toxic fan base. Yo, legit, bro. They're actually like us. But, you know, I don't think Marnie gives a fuck. A fan base is always reflective of the heart of the actual, um, well, it can be, you know? I, that's a very bold statement, but I honestly feel like fan bases are reflective of the kinds of elements that the person who they surround is composed of. Like, you guys are crazy. You guys don't give a fuck. You say and do whatever the fuck you want. And, and guess who else does that? It's me, nigga. Just Raj came through with a $10 contribution. Just Raj. Thank you, man. There's been a lot of first-timers. He says he's a first-timer. Um, unless you count the time that I pressed the join button on your other channel as Lil Turk. You know, somehow, some way, I actually fucking remember that name. It's so unique in a way. Um, before you turned into a god. By the way, what is your cam and lighting setup looking like? Because my streams don't look as clear. Bro, I'm using a fucking DSLR with like studio lights and a remote system, you know? This shit is kind of like on the next level. You don't really need this, but I mean, 
it helps to make it a little bit nicer, you know what I mean? Um, the DSLR I'm using is old, though. I want to definitely update my shit eventually. But thank you for the love, man. I appreciate it. Um, it takes a while to build up. Little by little, use a Logitech C920, nigga. As you can see, I got that motherfucker on right now. Look, see? I was using this beforehand, man. Doesn't really fucking matter. You can use whatever the hell you want, bro. Um, let me get back to the thread real quick. Um, thank you to Joe Javal Javal for ten dollars, man. I'll read you in a second. Let me just get through a little bit more of this. To become part of the gym challenge, you have to get an endorsement, so a sponsorship or some shit like that. Um, Bed gets an endorsement from Chairman Rose and his secretary Orlina. They're bringing up a bunch of names here. This dude, what kind of this leak? How did he? Procure this information, bro. Etika, your dick is out. Dick cam, nigga. No, no, no dick cam on. I can't do dick cam right now. I mean, I, I could do a dick cam. <laughs> I could. What if I move the camera down, nigga? What if I move the camera down and I put it right here? All right. All right. Y'all want a cock cam? Fine. I'll put the camera here. If you stay up in the stream late enough, I'm going to pull my cock. I'm gonna pull it out on camera, all right? Just boom. <laughs> um, anyways, let me get back to the fucking thread, man. Y'all are distracting me, man. Thank you. Um, you know, since I'm already distracted right now, he says, what's going on, bro? I am a first-time donor, and I don't know if you'll believe me, but I am 12 years old, and I've been watching your content since Smash Undertale. How could you? That means you were, what, like 10 or 9 when you were watching my fucking um, Undertale shit? That was three, four years ago, bro. Or eight? Anyways, man, let's pray for some smash shit to appear at E3. I'm gonna pray that your mom doesn't find out you used her credit card, bro. You got me looking crazy out here, man. Shout out to the boy, of course. I mean, hey, listen, it's funny to know that I'm gonna be an influence on this man as he grows up, bro. Hey, hopefully I spread a message of positivity. You feel me, man? Young boys is in here, bro. But then again, I'm not surprised. Wait a minute. Boys, this is some of the earliest we've ever streamed. It's 4.17 p.m. When's the last time do you remember me doing a midday stream? It's always been at 9999 every day. You know what I'm saying? Yoshi Killer saying, yo, this is a quick meme for you, bro. Yoshi Killer, I got memes on memes on memes saved up for your ass, but okay. What's this? Huh? He's about to kill them? Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah, how did he? Oh shit! He's is he dead? Is he dead? Oh my god! That shit slammed that nigga! Oh my! How are you? He just brushed it off like it was nothing, dude. It was. It was so big. Oh, I mean, he just ah. <laughs> Hold on, before we continue, he's gotta be dead. There's no way he survived. I mean, okay, I'm I'm just being a fool. I mean, obviously he survived it, but I mean, holy shit! How do you make an error like that, bro? Was that something that was scripted, bro? Was I thought the niggas that are acting are the stunt doubles, not the fucking cameramen. Holy shit! Wait a minute, I gotta show y'all this other thing too, man. Did you ever see where Arnold Schwarzenegger got drop kicked in the back by that nigga? Hold on. Arnold... The first thing that you see, Arnold Schwarzenegger kick video. This video was the funniest fucking thing, and it reminds me of what we just saw because initially the response to the fucking thing hitting him in the head when that nigga was recording was like a bing, ah, and then he fell. But it looked like he just, if that was me, I would have been like, you ever watch The Rock during WWE wrestling, bro? Whenever The Rock gets hit by anything, he... <laughs> the nigga just takes a, he takes a huge fall, bro. That would have been me if a goddamn vase bounced off the ground. The, I think the vase was meant to bounce off the ground. No, 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 it wasn't meant to bounce. It was meant to break. He was trying to break it, and he bounced the bitch. Sometimes, man, the universe puts together the perfect factors for us to have a goddamn hearty ass laugh. And that one did it for me, man. But um, hold on, I gotta show you this video of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, you've probably seen it, but when he got kicked in the back, bro. This nigga Arnold, I don't know what he's made of, but he damn sure ain't human. The nigga has ascended beyond the point of motherfucking um, spiritual awakening. He's ascended to the level of straight up in the physical, in the conscious. That nigga is on some god shit, bro. Because how do you get drop kicked and your response is as, as little as this? He didn't even move! 
Real shit. I had a guy I saw that. Tobey Maguire in the back. <laughs> you gotta see. Look at this. Oh, they're about to strong on that nigga. Why would you do that? Why did this nigga drop kick Arnold Schwarzenegger? And it's even worse, because he had to be a nigga. It had to be a nigga. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Anyways. He said, I need a Lamborghini? Someone said, that's definitely a Joy-Con nigga. <laughs> Was that nigga having a spiritual awakening too? That's why he thought he could take down Arnold. He thought he could take down the Terminator, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He wants a Lamborghini? That's why he did it? Okay, well, we need another angle, bro. That angle, that angle didn't showcase the girth of Arnold. That didn't showcase how fucking sturdy Arnold's middle body is, bro. No, no. We gotta find, he didn't even fall. Yeah, we gotta watch, dude, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I need a Lamborghini, nigga. I'm God, nigga. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyways, let me fucking um, pull up. Let me pull up the other angle of this video. I don't know, is it is it even in, is it? Maybe it's in the same video. Maybe they have like a... No, it's just... Arnold's just sitting down? He shrunk, okay. Okay, Arnold's just like, I don't know what that was all about, but I still had the other guy in the thing. Like, nigga, bruh, fuck. 6 9 nigga. Hold on. Thank you very much for Fast forward, okay, no, that's not the angle that we need, bro. Let me find this other one for y'all real quick. Where's that shit at? Where's that shit at? Go back. No, 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 not there, not there. Those are my plans. Go back, nigga. Hold on. O okay, this might. Yep, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This nigga. Now, in the other video, you saw Arnold kind of. Oh, move forward a little bit but the amount that he moved forward was kind of emphasized by the camera falling man when you see what it actually he did bro when you see what this man is made of nigga and look he got a swole ass nigga right behind him ready if anything bad happens that was nothing the nigga a whole drop kick do you see how the whole nigga was in the air? He, look, look at, now, now look at that. Look at that. The dude used every single ounce of fucking strength in his body to run up to this man and hit him with that shit back center, bro. And Arnold moved like, oh, ow, what was that? What was that, nigga? It was, and Arnold just shrugged the shit off. He just shrugs it off. Like, bruh. Help me. Help me. I need an Apple Kitty. Help me. I need an Apple Kitty. Help me. The dude bounced off of Arnold, bro. Like, when you. Okay, I'll. Just. Before we go back into the leaks, just to let you know, when you do a running drop kick like that, the inertia that you're most dependent on is the other person moving forward when you drop kick that ass, okay? So when you go and hit the nigga like this, that nigga is supposed to fall forward and you're supposed to kind of like still be moving so you can maybe catch yourself or whatever. The dude went up to Arnold and it was like he kicked a brick wall or something. The nigga himself repelled off of him and fell the fuck back. That shit is ridiculous. That just goes to show you, man. <laughs> them years of them little steroids, man. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Obviously, the nigga worked out hard for it, so it's like. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go put my dinner back in the fridge, and I will um, be back in a few seconds, man. Uh, I got a couple of donuts to catch up. Wait, no, actually, I don't. Um, well, there are some that I still haven't read up on yet, but I will. I'm gonna go back to the 4chan thread, and then we'll be going to the Sony thing, and then we'll be checking out the donuts, and then we'll be doing some other shit, bro. Let me put these back. I NEED A LAMBORGHINI NIGGA! Okay.
Nigga, do set. All right, I see it. Is, are we gonna just start quoting? I need a Lamborghini now. I wouldn't mind a Lamborghini to be real. Then again, nah, man. Parking is gonna be too crazy. It's kind of, it's kind of wild in the city right now. If you have a car, bro. In my area, I ain't got no parking around me either, bro. Nah, you know what? I'm good. Hold the Lamborghini. I don't even want a car, nigga. Thank God I don't need a car in the city, man. Um, hold on. Irradiated Reaper came through. I said it right this time. Haha. -ha. Uh, with ten dollars, man. Thank you. He says, "Yo, Desmond, man, I have work tonight, and I'm not gonna be able to catch the stream. So I want you to have a good night, bro. No, listen. Thank you, man. I'm glad that you uh, tuned in for a little bit, even if you weren't able to stay around. It's all good, man. Um, good to know. I, I saw a couple of uh, the posts that you were making online too, bro. I see you active in the community, man. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to me, bro. It's good to see the boys are uh, um, keeping up with the shit, even if you can't watch the whole time, man. Etika crashed a little boy. What the hell does that even mean?" Hi, I'm nine years old. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it, man. I mean, I feel like our audience is a little bit older than everybody else's, but still, we got we, we got our kids. We got our wild niggas. Anyways, back to this thread. Um, Eter Eternatus is the evil legendary. This is all official, boys. This is an official leak, nigga. So this is the, gonna be the nigga's name. Eternatus, bro. What the hell does that even fucking... Hold on, I feel like I want to Google search that name or something. Um, we have another dono coming through. Astu Vibes came through with $10 saying, when is that shirt dropping? This ain't mine, bro. This ain't mine. I bought it from another nigga who made it on Redbubble. But I will be putting together my own woke shit. I got my own woke shit coming, bro. I'm just working on it slowly and steadily, man. Thank y'all for being patient with me. I always told you my merch game is ass, man. So I'm trying to work on it. But eventually. Uh, anyways, let's get back to that thread. Bruh. Uh, he says, um, and... Wait, no, no. Sorry, I read, um, I didn't even finish reading that part. He says, also, I've been watching you since 2014, bro, and goddamn, it was fun watching you grow. It's kind of crazy. I, I mentioned this before, man. It's like literally watching the first videos, and now you see such a big difference. Um, smash me one day, bro. He sent me his switch code, man. I, I don't know if I'm going to remember later on to add you, but I'm going to be going through the list, and, uh, will I, well, I'll say, you know, I'm going to add you, and if we potentially do a Smash stream later on, then I'll be able to probably play with you if you're still around. But, I mean, it's hard to know when niggas are watching, because obviously I don't fucking know when you're online. Um, anyways, e e Eternatus is the, uh, how do you say this nigga? Eterna Eternatus, 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 or whatever? He's the evil legendary. The other legendary will be a wolf, who will either have a shield main or hold a sword like the great wolf Sif. Don't recall its name. Okay, so this nigga... He kind of he kind of predicted it in a way. He said that there was, the other legendary will be a wolf, but both of the legendaries are wolves. I'm sure this Eternatus thing is definitely not fake, but I guess he didn't call it right, thinking that um, the the wolf would be either a sword or a shield. When in reality, it's actually two different wolves entirely. Or maybe it's not. Maybe that's an element of the game that we don't actually know. I mean, both of the legendaries on the Sword and Shield box kind of, sort of... I mean, if you mix and match certain parts around, they look like they could be the same elements, in a sense. But, I mean, anyways, uh, let's get back. I mean, it's a little too early for us to know any of this stuff. Dynamaxing and Giant Maxing are the new mechanics, the new dynamics that will supersize Pokemon in specific areas. Remember, Dynamaxing was not something that we knew of until the Pokemon Direct, and this information that we're reading comes two weeks earlier, almost, man. This dude was, he was in the office. Who is this guy? Is it, like, it's gotta be somebody who works there, man, or maybe somebody who came through to, like, check things over or whatever. Anyways, Giga Maxing, Giant Maxing, no, Giant, Giant Maxing? That's Giant Maxing? This is gonna be another new mechanic of the fucking game, which we don't even know anything about. This is um, only a Dynamaxing thing at this point, but I mean, whatever the fuck this is gonna be, can they get even bigger than that? Like, dude, how are you gonna... I don't know, bro, but um, Giant Maxing is different from Dynamaxing. It changes what the Pokemon looks like. Meowth looks like a long cat. Lapras gets layers like musical bars to its shell and musical notes. Pikachu looks like retro fat Pikachu. So just a big, thick, hearty, healthy ass Pikachu on the motherfucking screen, bro. Bigger than what we see potentially with the Dynamax and stuff. That's kind of that. that pff, I don't know about that one, but anyways, um, Sonia is the Leon. All of this predicted, bro. Big big leaks, man. Some Pokemon like Farfetch will get regional evolutions like Surfetched. Okay, now is this? They say they'll get regional evolutions. So what is this? Something that's only going to be exclusive to this game? 
is it like our mega evolution still gonna be included in this game it's kind of interesting to see that because dude regional why not just say it's gonna be an evolution why not just say farfetch evolves into surfetch i'm not sure um what they're going for there but the fact that farfetch evolves nigga after years bro that dude had that leak spinning that bitch i remember the episode where farfetch debuted and like farfetch farfetch nigga. You know, it's kind of cool to see now man uh i hope it actually has good stats and is usable uh, meowth looks like a ball of spiky gray fur um, once again, man, I think we're talking in like when we say regional, we really are talking stuff like how Sun and Moon had kind of like their Alolan forms or whatever. Maybe this will be something similar along those lines, but I mean, it's hard to kind of know. We still know nothing. This information is so ahead of what we know that it's kind of like a big question mark for us. S hold on. Whoa, here we go. Um, Sco S S Squovet and Greedunt are chipmunk Pokemon who will hide in berry trees and attack randomly if you shake for too many berries. If they attack, you lose half the berries that dropped. Uh, once again, another one that's way ahead of our time. This nigga is looking deep into the future on some shulk shit right now. Bruh. Um, I, I, I remember Shofu in his video, he had said that there was a Pokemon that kind of got leaked on a nigga's shirt that looked like a chipmunk Pokemon or whatever, so maybe that's a little bit of a hint as to that. Um, the fourth gym is a fairy, the first fairy type gym, led by an actress named Opal. So I wonder if Opal and um, this chick Marnie actually fuck with each other since they both kind of seem to have a little bit of influence on niggas. Maybe it's like an online thing or whatever. Um, Milo, Nessa, and Kabu are the first ones. And before fighting the gym leaders, you have to complete gym challenges. Milo has you herding sheep Pokemon named Wulu. So this is the first mention of this nigga way before the direct. But Pamper, an electric Corgi Pokemon, will startle them and send them rolling elsewhere. This is a lot of inside information that's like, how do you know details in regards to like specific plot related stuff like the like the gym stuff and the, and the characters that are involved? This has to be somebody that's really on the inside, bro. Uh, Etika, please turn off links in the chat. Really? Wait, hold on. Okay, what's going on in the chat right now? Yoshi Killer came through with another one, man. He says, um, quick mean time round two. Yoshi, give me a second. It seems like apparently there's niggas in the chat that are actually getting fucked up. There's some fucked up links going down. So let me curb your handshake. All right, I'm going to check this in a second. But hold on. There's <laughs> Okay. Give me a second. Let me let me run to my control panel real quick. I'll fix this shit up. Give me a minute, nigga. Give me a minute. Oh, whoopsie. Hold on. Let me fix this. Well, it wouldn't be, to be honest, it wouldn't be an eventful day in the Etika World Network chat without there being a nigga trying to spam porn. So, I mean... Not, not a really a surprise there. Uh, give me a second. I gotta fix it. Although, to be honest with you, I'm surprised. I thought I had, um, I thought I had no links in chat on. I thought only mods could post links in the chat. Bot spam. How's a bot doing it? Hold on. I gotta. How are these niggas setting these bots up, bro? Is it really a bot, or is it just somebody copying and pasting and spamming the shit? Let me take a look here. I'm gonna go to my um, settings. I think I can do it for each individual stream too. Hmm. I wanna be your only one. I wanna be your only one. Okay, let me see here. Edit. Advanced. Wait a second. I don't think there's a way to stop niggas from posting links, bro. Is there a way? Bro, no one gives a shit about the bosses. Don't click the links, you idiot. Yeah, don't click them. I don't know. Is there is there a way to... <laughs> Someone just sent the Google.com one. Hold on, we're going to jump back to the leaks in a second. I just want to kind of... Is there a way to disable links, boys? I don't think there is. Well, if that's the case, then it ain't on me, bro. It ain't on me, nigga. Trash mods. No, don't don't, don't blame the mods. If this if there's, any, if there's anyone that this is the fault of, it's just me nigga. It, it, i i kind of didn't even realize that you could post links on this bitch atsu vibes came through to the stream with ten dollars man atsu i remember you from before shout outs he says also i am a thick waifu corin man you, st you still use her props man it's not an easy thing to take on nowadays but i mean hey you got the balls for it he says and jigglypuff what do you think about rune factory i don't know anything about it it's just a title that i've just heard constant stuff about i mean I don't know. I, I'll, I'll look into it a little bit more, actually, I, on top of all the other stuff that I have to look into right now. But, I mean, we're going to be here for a while anyway, so it don't really matter. Uh, let me see here. Rune Factory. Oh, this is a DS game? Damn, nigga. Maybe this isn't the same Rune Factory that I heard of. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, no, it definitely is. I think it's getting, like, a, a new game, right? It's your fault for clinking on the links. Hold on. Mods, let me know. Is there a way that we can disable links in the chat? 
Because it seems like the shit's getting crazy now. We got bots spamming these links and shit. I mean, the, 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 the bots. Okay, that I can see that getting a little bit annoying, man. Help me to figure this thing out. Like I said, mods, do something. Like, what the fuck? Black.com? What the hell, nigga? Okay, let me see. I'm going to search this shit up on Google, bro. YouTube chat. Manage live chat. Y'all dudes got me literally going through tutorials as we speak. Um, let me see here. Virus links? There's 2B2T is spamming virus links, bro? How? How, bro? Well, if it's not something that I can control, just be careful. Don't click nothing. Chat reply. Analytics. Watch the video. Live chat. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. Nate Etika getting that learned. I'm trying to. It's 2B2T's doing. Well, is there a way we can avoid that shit? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right. I'm going to have to end the stream for now. I'll be right back in a little bit. Let me just do a little bit of research on this. It'll be easier for me to do it off camera anyway. So I'll see y'all niggas in a little bit. Okay, a little bit later. I just want to figure this thing out. I think we might need to get a bot in here after all. If that's really what's going down. Damn, I got to figure out a way to disable links too now. Oof. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna be hitting up a couple of niggas to try to see if I can get a little bit of... Okay, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, you have to copy and paste the text that the bots are posting and add it to the banned words and phrases list. It's in community settings? Oh, it's in community settings. You can click disable links. Shotgun plays. Big shout outs, man. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to end this right now. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Let me try to see if I can do 